big Southern California welcome to all our SmackDown fans. I'm Michael Cole, here with Taz at ringside in San Diego. Big shout out to all our great fans in the 619 area code here. I love San Diego, baby. No kidding, partner. San Diego couldn't be more excited for SmackDown action. And we couldn't be more excited to be here. You feel like a real jerk when somebody counters you like that. He saw that one coming. I hope this isn't the last time we see these superstars face off. You're not gonna hear me say this much, Cole, but I definitely agree with you. This has all the makings of a nice, long feud. I don't know how nice... I don't think the fans like that one too much. And I'm sure this breaks this guy's heart. It should. These fans are the lifeblood of WWE, and he doesn't give a damn what they think. These WWE fans just can't get enough of these superstars. And I'm glad to see it. A WWE match isn't just about competition, it's also about entertaining the fans. Okay, well, if that's the case, how can we got you as an announcer? I mean, that ain't exactly great entertainment, in my opinion. You might be right, Taz. I think it would be extremely entertaining to listen to you try to call a match all by yourself. And the crowd has come alive tonight with a chant directed at the superstars in the ring. He ain't taking any chances with this submission, Cole. Look at how tight he's got it locked in. I see that, Taz. I wouldn't be surprised if he got his opponent to tap out right here. You talk about raw power. You talk about intensity. Have you ever seen a superstar like Batista? Hey, there's no doubt he's a very impressive dude, no question. But let's not get too carried away here. It's not like he's the biggest and baddest guy ever stepped foot in the WWE ring, you know what I mean? You say that, Taz, but no one else comes to mind. You've got to be pretty big and pretty bad to pin Triple H for the World Heavyweight title. And that's exactly what Batista did at WrestleMania 21. Hey, look. Anybody can have a really good night. You know what I'm saying, Cole? That doesn't make you the greatest superstar in the world of all time. And come on, let's face it. I think Batiste is a little bit overrated. And I think we're going to see that here tonight. If I was a gambling man, I'd take that bet, Taz. I don't mind admitting that I'm in awe of Batista. And I know I'm not the only one. Well, listen to that chant, Taz. I'll tell you what. If you've got the crowd on your side or against you, it makes a huge... Look out. He's measuring his opponent. I think that if one of these superstars successfully executes their finishing move, this one is over. That ain't necessarily the case, Cole. Just because it's called a finisher doesn't mean it always ends the match. You sound like you're speaking from experience here, Taz. Of course not. Whenever I locked into Taz's mission, that was it. End the story. It was over. I think you're developing a selective memory in your old age, partner. There is no doubt that Batista made a hell of an impact on Raw, Cole. But now that he doesn't have Triple H or Ric Flair watched his back, I think his days might be numbered. Batista and it's a flurry of close fist punches in that turnbuckle. And I bet I know how many we're going to see here, too. I think these fans have got a little something they want to share with us. That's their right, Taz. They paid for their tickets, after all. He's got this guy right where he wants him. And there it is! The scissors kick! Man, even if you end up winning a match like this, you're going to be feeling it for the next week. Yes, but that's the case if you lose as well. And having to deal with emotional as well as physical pain is that much worse. Emotional? What the hell are you talking about? Well, I've been in the locker room after a match and seen the superstars who don't get their hands raised. We've seen this before. He'll do whatever it takes to win and take every advantage he can. Hey, you know that? He's three seconds away from a win! This is one heck of a match so far. It sure is, Taz. What do you think the highlight has been so far? Well, that'll probably come a little bit later on in the match. When you decide to shut your yap for a few seconds, and I can uh, enjoy it in peace. 
Well, excuse me for doing my job, partner. Sorry to have disturbed you. Batista has had lots of success so far, but that's just because his opponents really let him psych him out. You can't back down from a dude like Batista. I don't think that's the case at all, Taz. And I think the sight of a heavily muscled six and a half foot animal like Batista doesn't intimidate you. You'd better have your head examined. Watch it. He reversed it. Well, it looks like they're slowing the pace down a little bit here. That might not be such a good move, in my opinion. Well, come on. You just can't keep going non-stop. That's a good way to wear yourself out and make a critical mistake. No, but you can't give the opponent any time to recover, neither. You gotta stay on him and wear him down. But what about picking your spot? If you try to execute a badly tied move just because you want to stay on offense, that could have a disastrous result. I'll tell you what, Paul. Let me talk about what it's like to be in a match like this, and you can cover what it's like to whiten the team. Deal? This capacity crowd is making their opinions known tonight. No surprise there, Cole. The WWE fans ain't exactly known for keeping their opinions to themselves. I'll tell you, all the WWE superstars are legit tough guys. But these superstars are really raising a bar here tonight. They sure are, Taz. We're seeing some great intensity here tonight. And that's the name of the game, Cole. Intensity. You gotta stay on your opponent until one of you can't go anymore. I think these superstars are well aware of that, Taz. I think that's exactly what they've got in mind. You know, Cole, I'd ask you who you were pulling for in this match, but I think it's pretty obvious since the beginning who you're rooting for. I never claim to be completely objective, Taz. It's no secret I respect superstars who stick within the rules and show some sportsmanship in the ring. You gotta understand, Cole, this is dumb. Why is he risking everything by going up there? Ladies and gentlemen, we are seeing an incredible display of athletic ability here tonight. What do you expect, Cole? These are WWE superstars for crying out loud. They're the greatest athletes in the world. True enough, Taz. There's no off-season for them. There's no month. Looks like he's taking his opponent for a ride. Oh, God. What a huge Batista bomb. They know why he want to take twice. Oh, man, these fans are fired up now. There's the pin. Can his opponent kick out? Here's your winner. Batista!